Alright y'all, what is going on guys today? I am bringing you back a new video. So I have actually never wrote this in a video yet. Um, I was actually saving it for its own video. Instead, I'm going to take off the top today. Um, it's just bolted by some things because I am putting a LED light bar in it. And once I put a LED light bar in it, it's going to be wired through the thing. So in order to take that off, I'm going to have to take off the whole um, light bar. And it's just not going to, I don't really want to go through all that. So I'm going to do it now while I don't have the light bar in. Well, I have it in, but I don't have like the drill bits I need to go through all of this. So we're going to take it off today just to see what it looks like. I'm going to put it back on, though. Um, I just want to see what it looks like. Alright y'all, so I just finished undoing all the bolts. It only took 9 minutes. Um, I don't know why I said 30 minutes. Um, but the back two were the aggravating ones because I had to keep wrenching it. I don't know why, but that's the only reason why it took 10 minutes. It probably would have took like 5 minutes. But yeah, let's, um, all it's got to pop off. And are we also going to put this back on? If it can go back on. My girlfriend broke it off, but we're going to see if we can go back on. If not, then it ain't no big deal. Um. I'll just take the other one off and then there'll be a mud slinging machine. What the? Alright, y'all. So, that is the roof right there. I just thought this through. If I do decide to wrap my go kart, I'm gonna need to take that off. I'm gonna wrap that too. Or I could spray paint that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. But this is what the go-kart looks like. I don't know how to judge it, honestly. It looks cool as shit, but it looks ugly as shit. Because you have the little bar sticking out, but that's what it looks like now. It's going to be very weird to drive, but we're going to see. Let me put y'all in the helmet right there, and then we're going to take it for a test spin and see what it's like. Alright y'all, so I know y'all not going to be able to hear me. I'm putting y'all right next to my mouth right now, but I know y'all not going to be able to hear me, so the motors might be annoying. I don't know. We'll see though. Your light's on. I definitely got to put this in the zip pocket. I almost put it in my regular pocket. I'm going to try. Dude, this feels so weird. It feels like it has faster acceleration. Huh? It feels like it has faster acceleration. I think it's just my eyes playing jerks on me. I told you, bro. Fucking hat! <laughs> you got mud everywhere.
Well, y'all, at least we know it fits through that trail. felt this power in a long time. <laughs> I miss this power. I, I could just fucking floor it. For the dirt bike, I gotta watch everything. Floor it down the road, dude.
y'all. We gotta clean out a lot of stuff back here. a lot weirder riding like this. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Alright y'all, so that's a little, that, I went through that little bitty mud hole. Like it wasn't even lit big. And I just go through once, but that's the aftermath. So that's what it looks like when someone's sitting in it. We're going to take Sean for a test spin, but he's going to hold the camera and that's going to be the last ride. Let me know what y'all think about it. And actually, it it might just be my eyes, but it feels like the takeoff's a lot faster, but that could just be my eyes again. But um, let me know what y'all think and... All right, y'all. So that's gonna end the video with the Hammerhead GTS 150 Platinum Edition. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. It's got a lot of horsepower, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs>